Sound check. I'm good. Good morning. You guys all hear me okay? You know we got some spots up here in the front row, right? Awesome. Thank you. So those of you that were expecting JR this morning, I'm the younger, taller, better looking, but not quite as brilliant version of JR Rivers. <laughs> so um, the session was going to be a little bit about, about monitoring and and kind of looking at OpenStack from, from that perspective. We're gonna actually change this up a little bit and talk about layer three to the host and how to interact with, uh, with OpenStack in a little bit different way. Sound good? All right. All right, so I'm gonna bore you. What if you could reduce your IP address count and the hassles of building a layer three fabric by putting IP addresses on every, every single link in the fabric. What if you could get rid of spanning tree in your fabrics? Doesn't that sound like a, a wonderful thing? Yep. What if my clicker worked a little faster? Oh, get closer to the, there we go. What if you could do layer three ECMP from your servers to do flow based load balancing rather than doing you know, something with layer two where you've got one link up, one link down, and you're basically wasting half your bandwidth. And in ser server mobility, there's a lot of different ways to approach this, right? And then reducing the controller to the fabric complexity. And then more visibility. So how do I, how do I create a way to, to actually be able to visualize or, or show with the connectivity between the compute pieces of the network, the open set compute and network nodes, and the actual fabric itself. So the answer to this is basically create layer three fabrics and address, put IP addressing on the host itself. So part of that's, that's a partial answer. So the way to really kind of take this to the next level is to use something that we call uh, BGP unnumbered. So if I have a BGP fabric, I want to use unnumbered interfaces. I essentially can put a single IP address on a device and have unnumbered on interfaces and essentially do point-to-point -point peering and TCP, BGP peer establishment across an unnumbered link. All right, so a couple of different design, just a couple design slides I want to show real quick. First one is uh, kind of discussing ECMP within the fabric and then kind of a not so traditional, I guess, a single attached server connection. And then the second option is really looking more at, at, at this BGP unnumbered concept that I'm talking about, which now you can do ECMP type links across from the host into the fabric. And so we're showing here more of a, a connection. There, there's the, I'm looking for my mouse and it's not on my screen, but it's on the sure screen, very good. So kind of looking at these links, this looks almost like a layer two fabric connection, right? But if you can kind of visualize or, or think about this as being just, just an example, if you wanted to put eight NICs in a server and connect it to the fabric, you can just as easily do that in the layer three environment. It's a little more difficult to do that in the layer two environment. All right, so the demo that I'm gonna show you is, is really like a, a five node OVA in virtual box. And what I've got is a single spine, two leaves, a management bridge so I can talk to all the different virtual devices, and then a couple of servers. And these servers, as you can see down here on the bottom, is an OpenStack controller. So they're, the two servers on the one hand is server one. It's an OpenStack controller, a compute node, getting feedback, a network node, and a dashboard node. So basically, everything I do is pretty much going to be from, on, and the demo is going to be from that, that one server. And then server two is going to be simply a compute node, just to essentially build your tunnels and, and establish connectivity. So what we're going to show is a custom tenant creation script. So basically, you're going to let OpenStack kind of do its thing, just build VXLAN tunnels for two different networks, build a virtual router, and then make sure that the connectivity works between the different end nodes. And then use some, some uh, command line just to kind of show you the output from both the fabric side as well as from the actual compute side. All right, so 
I see Nolan's in the back row back there. I stole one of his slides and put the train wreck up here because it's demo time. All right. As promised, I've got VirtualBox up, and you'll see I've got my RDO server one. I've got an external router that's running, just as an example, to OpenStack to kind of get off to the physical network. Um, a leaf, two leafs, and the spine, just kind of like we showed in the diagram, right? And if anybody wants to actually kick the tires in this demo themselves, if you go out to the, the Cumulus website under our support site, there's a whole list of demos. And down here on the OpenStack Cumulus VX rack on a laptop, layer three to the host, basically step-by-step -step instructions on how to build this. And essentially, you're downloading OVA, and there is a link to that right here. And you essentially, you import the OVA as an appliance, and it explodes into this. All right, so as promised, the, the server is the spot where I usually go to connect to first, right? So I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see here that I've got some cheater scripts, kind of like we talked about a little bit ago on the slides. And so I'm going to hold off on a minute before I build this because I want to go back to OpenStack, go to Horizon Login. No compute instances. Go down and look at the network real quick. Network topology, generic. You expect to see this on a fresh install, right? Networks, ex external network. And then routers, blank again. So I'm going to go back over here and land on the instances pages. And look at a few things here. First of all, look at the IP route table. Kind of get a quick shot here at the uh, 192.168.100.2 or .0 network, and then there's a 200.2. And I want to show you server two, which I'm for now I'm going to ignore, but I'm going to actually go over here to uh, this leaf, leaf one. And so NetShow is um, it's a command. It's in the operating system. It actually kind of makes the Linux interface for networking a lot more appealing to somebody that's got more of a network background. So if I do, this command's called netshow. If I do netshow interface, it just kind of gives me a status on the, on the actual interface and talks about, it tells me what the name of the uh, interface is, the speed, MTU, you, you can kind of read what it's showing me here, right? The neat thing about this is I can tie into the OpenStack environment back into the network node, and if you look at what I've got highlighted here, it'll actually tell me the local port, what it's connected to. So I, I kind of talked about earlier in the slides, I want to show you how to make that linkage between the OpenStack component and the fabric a little bit more visible, right? This is one of those, those methods of doing so. So you can see it's an unnumbered interface. So what does that mean? No, no IP address on the actual link. We're using the loopback IP as a connection point. All right, so NetShow interface there. I'm going to look at the LLDP real quick so I can figure out who I'm talking to. You can see that my, my port 49 is talking to the spine layer. I go back to the spine. You see we've got fairly similar connectivity except that we're talking to leaps, right? LLDP, talking to leaf one, leaf two. So if I go back to the diagram, just so everybody's kind of got a visual, remember server one, server two, so we've looked at server one connectivity, we looked at leaf one, we looked at spine one. All right, look at my routes real quick, pretty simplistic. I'm gonna do a quick dump on the actual BGP config. And so you can see that from a BGP perspective, this is about as simple as it gets. You define the router ID, you define the interfaces that you're actually peering on, and then just set the remote AS as ex external or internal. In this case, we've got it all set as external. 
I'm going to go ahead and show the same thing on the leaf side. You can see it's, it's almost identical. AS definition, the router ID, and then the port, and then whether it's remote, AX is external or internal. You see we've got these all as external as well. OK. Let's see. One other thing I'll show is I'll do an IF query. Just to kind of give a quick snapshot of exactly what interfaces are configured on the switch. OK. So going back to this guy, I'll go ahead and kick off the demo script. I'm going to go ahead and create this two tenant subnets demo. And so what you see here is I got a nice cheater menu, right? So I'll go ahead and start this. And what it'll do is it'll kick off all the, all the scripts to actually build the infrastructure, that, that two subnets with a router. And then it'll have four different VMs so we can kind of test the connectivity between the different networks. Any questions so far? So the Neutron plugin that we're using. So the Neutron plugin that we're actually going to be using for the connectivity is going to be VXLAN. It's going to be ML2. It's going to be the, you know, the VXLAN overlay. The, that's not actually talking to the fabric. That's just talking to the compute node and the network nodes, right? So what we're doing is using Quagga, the routing application on the host, to be the layer three connectivity to basically pass reachability information to all the host and compute nodes the compute nodes and the network nodes, excuse me. And that way, now OpenStack can do what it does best and communicate with its own its devices to build the overlay directly rather than have to actually communicate to the fabric. So it's like one less failure touch point, right? And this is taking a little longer than what I think it should. Show the train picture along the way. Should what? Show yeah, all right, so you know, it's funny because we had a discussion this morning. It's like, I don't do live demos on purpose because the train thing happens. I record demos. I just got done recording this demo in the back, <laughs> put it up on YouTube, and uh, here I go doing a live. All right, we're getting something here. Just a little patience. So what you're going to see when we get done is there's really not going to be any kind of changes to the, the actual um, fabric itself. The reachability information, the routes, the IP connectivity is already in place. All the change is going to happen on the OpenStack nodes, right? And now I'm going, to see, I'm going to see my VXLAN interfaces. I'm going to see my router interfaces, all my bridges. They're all going to be created on the endpoints. Still waiting. All right, any rotten tomatoes out there? Good on time, right? All right. Because if this doesn't like finish up soon, I'm probably just going to go back to my MP4 and just hit play. But I, I think it's building. We're still working here in the background. Yeah. Good point. Got port forwarding turned on to the to the 
actual VM, so I'm not sure that that's going to work. Five minutes. <laughs> I'm afraid to interrupt that script. It might not finish the build. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and do exactly what I said I was going to do. It's like a cheater approach, but... Yep, still waiting. All right. So, we've already done all of this. This is the abbreviated version because I've edited it to cut out all the wait time. <laughs> and since we're running short on time, it's probably a good idea to go this route anyway. All right, look familiar? <laughs> Except, yeah, I saw that 10 minutes ago, exactly. All right, so once this thing's done, I go ahead and do a, um, a verify because we've got to create, a verify, a destroy, and an acquit, right? And so on the verify, just kind of go through and actually look and see that all the different interfaces and the subnets and the machines are all created. And you can see down here, I've got the two vehicles. I'm going to quit pointing at that because that brings up a blocking window. Ah. There we go. Or not. All right, what you're seeing, <laughs> what you're seeing here is just a list of, of the different OpenStack instances right and as you can see in horizon we've got two different networks we've got the router and what i'm going to do is actually go in and, and show the ip addressing on the network so you get the the 100.1.0 and the 100.2.0 the two different subnets and you can see my virtual router here interface list we've got an interface on each subnet obviously and then one interface to the external gateway and then what i want to do is um just kind of go back through here and actually show the ip addresses of those devices inside of the server, the, the compute slash network node. And so once I go ahead and do that, I'll actually log back into Horizon, or go back to Horizon, and then launch off a, a connection into the console and actually ping across the different VMs just to kind of prove out the fact that it's actually built up the network. So compute instances, all four. You know, two in each subnet, you've got the 100.2.0 network, so two instances there. There's like one on each, so we got two servers, right? So we've got a different, one of those endpoints is on one server and the other is on the other server. That way we're actually forcing the use of the, of the overlay network. And so from this one instance, when I log in, I just, I just ping everybody from that one spot. That's usually enough to verify connectivity. Minute and a half. All right, that's uh, that's about it for the demo. So let me let me go back over here and see if our actual demo actually finished building, and it did not. So I'm glad I went to the video. So we got about a minute left. Any um, any questions? Any other questions out there? No. Well, thank you everybody for coming out. Thank you.